What's up guys, Valentin here. This is a short update on the Panasonic Lumix GH6 RAW workflow video I have created a few weeks ago. It is now finally possible to edit GH6 photos directly inside of Lightroom and Photoshop, which means that you no longer need to use the Silky Pix software and can get the most out of your RAW photos now. All you have to do is update to the most recent version 23.3 for Photoshop and 11.3 for Lightroom Classic. This should also update Camera Raw to version 14.3, which has added official support for the GH6 Raw photo format. And while you're at it, you should also update your GH6 firmware if you haven't already. Version 1.2 is already available for download on the Panasonic website, and it looks like they were able to fix a few more bugs, which is always great. I will put all important links into the video description for you guys so that you don't have to search for it. I took quite a few raw photos with a GH6 already, and so far the results are looking just all right. I couldn't see any huge difference in terms of photo performance between the GH5 and the GH6. The additional resolution on the GH6 is slightly noticeable, which results in a finer grain pattern though. However, I'm not sure which one I prefer at this point of time, as it is kind of a subjective topic. All I can say is that the GH6 is worlds ahead in terms of usability due to that new flip and tilt screen and some other convenient features that they have added to their newest flagship. One more thing I'd like to mention here is that I noticed an issue with high resolution photos, which changed my opinion on that mode a little. It looks like there are small blurred patches if you zoom in closely on an image. So far I have only noticed this under heavy corrections though and on top of that I usually wouldn't crop into an image as much anyways. Which kind of makes me wonder whether this mode is even useful if you're let's say delivering for the web anyways and always frame your pictures correctly. Since the main goal of such a mode is to zoom in further, there shouldn't be any artifacts like these, as that destroys the whole purpose of such a function in my opinion. And just to be clear here, I was using the tripod mode, not the handheld one, and the parts that were blurred didn't move or anything. In fact, it looks like there is no clear reason why it happened altogether, so maybe this is something Panasonic can fix with another firmware update. For the time being, I probably won't be using that mode too much though, as it is quite limiting because you need a static subject to get the absolute most out of it. it takes additional time before an image is saved and the images are quite a bit larger than the regular ones which is just not worth it for the type of work that I do right now and sometimes the mode fails altogether and you have to take another picture which is kind of a bummer too but what about you guys have you tried the high resolution mode and what was your experience like I'd also like to hear what you guys think about the GH6 RAW photo performance so far. I'll keep capturing more photos and videos before I release my final review on the GH6 so please stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.